Hi, everybody. It's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Thank you so much for coming to my video today. So this is yet another installment of what sold on my eBay page this week. I have been selling on eBay since 1998. I don't offer free shipping. I very rarely accept best offers. I'm kind of just starting to play around with that a little bit. Also, I want to mention I only do this part time and I have three eBay IDs, but the one we discuss here is the Funky Pickle Store. So the purpose of this video is just to share with you some ordinary items that I find at yard sales and thrift stores that I am able to flip for a profit. So if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope you enjoy looking at all the stuff I sold. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Let's check out what I got. I got this item in a little thrift store. I paid $5 for it. A lot of people collect nutcrackers. This one was very interesting, I thought, because it was a baseball player. Now, additionally, something you might want to look out for is to see that they are, in fact, Steinbach. That's the, the name brand that a lot of people are after. A lot of people collect that one exclusively. This is a really cute item, and there it is. Made in Germany. This is a great item to look out for. This was with, it was like on a table with a lot of Christmas stuff. There were a lot of other nutcrackers on the table too, but I recognized right away that this was by far the best one. You can just see by the workmanship how beautiful it is. So paid five, sold it for 90. Next up, I picked this up in a little thrift store too. I can't always check barcodes. I can't always do comps when I'm standing in thrift stores. It depends. Like a Goodwill or a Savers, yes, because I really don't think that they care. But in some of these little church thrift stores or sometimes at yard sales, I don't know. I try to be discreet about it if I can even look it up at all. So this was an item I did not look up. It was a dollar. I know the box was kind of crushed, but the inside contents seem like they're fine. And this was Lego. So whenever I see Lego, I think, I don't know, maybe this is something, right? So I paid a dollar and I sold it for $9.99. Not really a fantastic amount of money, but the small items add up. So I'm happy with that. I found this item in a Goodwill. So this was pretty awesome, actually. It's brand new. I'm wondering if somebody got this at Yankee Candle in the store, you know, in the mall, because it was this really nice bundle. You see he has that cellophane. He has a bow, too. And then there's some candles, some Christmas cookie tea light candles. This is such a cute item. I love Yankee Candle so much. This was glazed ceramic, very, very high quality. And I think I paid three for this in a Goodwill and I sold it for $34.99. So great profit on that one. Not really fantastic to ship, but that was a good enough profit where I'm willing to do it. Here's an interesting little item I got at a yard sale over the summer. So this is just one of those sort of giant matchbooks. You can see how big it is there. Parrot Jungle, Miami, Florida. I thought it might be a collectible to somebody. You see how it's more than four inches? So I think I paid 25 cents for this or something like that, and I sold it for $7.99. It's kind of rare that I let stuff go for this low price, but it was just so easy. It probably took me three minutes total. So not bad if I can make $8 in three minutes. I'll take it. Look at this beautiful item. So these are called Putz Houses. Now this is a whole village that I think somebody made. And there's glitter, mica, those bottle brush trees, and it has a battery on the bottom. I'll show you that. And so it has a little switch so you can use it lighted or unlighted. I just put it on my quilters cut and press here so people could see how big it is. Maybe it was, I don't know, 14 inches, something like that. Really cute. There was a little bit of wear hair in there. Oh, look at the snowman, the wreath. There was a lot of nice details. So I think they sold these as kits in the 1950s, and you could make your own, maybe the 60s too. But this had some nice age on it. So uh, I put this one up. I think I paid $2 for this one. I actually had this one up last Christmas too, and I didn't sell it, which I could not understand because it's such a beautiful item. So I put it up again this year, and I got 40 bucks for it. Here's a new and still sealed DVD set. This is classic TV commercials, 16 hours. That's a lot of TV commercials. You can see I only was able to sell it for $9 because of streaming and YouTube and stuff like that. It can be difficult to sell certain DVDs, but I got this in a lot with a lot of other still sealed DVDs, so I sold it for $9. Not bad, right? I just bought this Victoria's Secret tote bag over the weekend. It was $3 at a thrift store, and it was brand new with the tag. 
These are stock photos, obviously, but I really like that tassel. There's a picture I took. <laughs> Not so great. And there's the price tag. So yeah, it was new and never worn. Really a, a great item. So paid three, sold it for 20. I was just showing this little item in my last haul. So what I like to do, if possible, if I'm in a place and I see that I want to buy a bunch of the jewelry, I'll grab a couple of things just to sell to try to get my money back. So in this case, I think I had about $10 worth of jewelry, and then I grabbed this knowing that if I sold this one for between $10 and $15, I would pretty much pay for all the jewelry I had just bought. So that's the reason that I got this. This was something that was very specific, LaSalle Military Academy, which was in Oakdale, New York. I've never heard of it before. I actually just listed it. I did buy it now for $12.99, and it sold within probably two hours. So somebody probably got a really great bargain on this, which is absolutely fine with me. So paid a dollar, sold it for 13. I bought this book set over the summer. I met two ladies. They were really, really nice. They were having a yard sale. They were sisters and their father worked at Grumman. I sold some tiger bobbleheads and I had a Revlon Van Cleef and Arpels designed lipstick case. And from them, I also bought this little stack of books. So these were a little bit creepy for me. They're called Man, Myth, and Magic. I think some are rarer than others. But anyway, uh, I think I paid a dollar or two maybe for the whole stack of them, and I sold them for 40 My J. King. So with this item, I still haven't broken even. So this is Spiny Oyster Necklace and Earrings on sterling silver, brand new, in the pouches, in the box, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that beautiful silver, right? That's what the J. King uh, hook looks like, in case you ever see it. Nice big bale. That's not a very good picture, but <laughs> there's the earrings. I can't say exactly what I paid for the set because I just bought out a table. That's how I did it. Anyway, I sold this set for $90. Really, really pretty set. Here's an interesting item. This was from 1939. A lot of people collect police department collectibles police association is what this one is from suffolk and uh co i think stands for county so i think this is suffolk county new york it's from 1939 and we'll take a look yeah this is by digest and clust i see that quite a bit on uh items like this so this is a great thing to keep your eyes open for uh, I think I might have gotten this in a lot at an auction, but I'm not sure. So in that case, it would be pennies. If I bought it at a yard sale or a thrift store, I probably paid 50 cents or a dollar, and I sold it for 38. Here's a video game I got somewhere in my travels. I don't usually spend more than a dollar on video games, so I would say this one was a dollar or less. If it's Nintendo GameCube, sometimes they'll sell very, very well for me. I mean, not for a ton of money, but I paid 50 cents or a dollar for this one, and I sold it for $14.99. Well, here's an item you don't see on eBay every day, wouldn't you think? <laughs> what a strange, strange item this is. This was a Christmas tree skirt, a pretty large one, too, and it has fish on it. I don't know if these are trout or bass, so I put both in my description. Oh, here's a kind of a better close-up of it. I thought this was pretty weird. It was in fantastic condition, and a lot of times odd items do sell well on eBay. So I think I picked this one up for $2 at a yard sale over the summer. I just had to buy it now for 25 bucks. got it right away too. My husband was looking through my watch box, and he pulled this one out. I forgot I had it. I think I paid $15 for this or maybe $10 at a yard sale like a few years ago. So this is an, an Invicta watch really in beautiful, beautiful condition. We're going to go to the end here. Look at how nice that is. There's like a couple of tiny, tiny marks on the glass, which I did disclose. This was a very gently worn watch in beautiful shape. It did need a battery. Anyway, sold it for $80, so really great profit on that. I am no watch expert, but if I find an interesting watch at a yard sale and it looks sort of high quality or unusual or just kind of a cut above what I normally see, I'll generally pick them up. Look at this pretty little thing. I can't remember what I paid for this. I just bought this two weekends ago, though. Jim Shore is something that people like to collect, but this was so pretty. I kind of took a lousy picture of it. But you see, it, she has a skirt, and then there's a secret inside. There's the whole nativity in there, and it's very beautifully detailed. I think I might have paid, um, I don't know, maybe $3, 
or four dollars for this and I sold it for 32 really pretty item right in the box some of you might remember this old brass rooster from a haul, uh, just like an antiques haul that I did over the summer where I got a lot of really, really great antiques. So I got this one. I thought this was really great. I figured it was going to sell for much, much more than this. When I got it home, I was surprised that it wasn't more valuable. But this is kind of a cool bottle opener or nutcracker, or I guess you could break the shell of a lobster or a crab with it. <laughs> Pretty cute, right? So paid 50 cents or a dollar for it and sold it for 15. Another one, right? Just a little bit unusual. Good thing to look out for. So as you can see, unfortunately, I paid a dollar each for these. I think these were in a thrift store. I wish they wouldn't do that with that Sharpie. <laughs> Usually I can get this off with either rubbing alcohol and cotton or a nail polish remover and I don't know what was going on I could not get the dollar off of these so I just disclosed it I mean you can see anyway just by looking at the picture but you can see in the condition I put used and then I put all excellent boxes have wear writing so we're really upfront about that just in case somebody wants to buy these and give these as a gift you know uh, anyway I sold the three of these for 20 and I had another one in the lot, too, that I sold a couple of weeks ago that I, I can't remember what I made, 30 or 40 on that one. But anyway, as you can see, I paid a dollar for this one. So this one seemed different, right? The Walking Dead. I do like buying Hallmark ornaments, but I try not to buy the ordinary ones, like if it's just a little angel or a little Christmas tree or just something that seems more generic. But I thought this one looked pretty weird. I've never seen the show, but that's Rick Grimes, apparently. Anyway, sold it for 10 bucks. I bought this DVD over the weekend. I don't know if this is an Emmy, like, for your consideration DVD set. It might be. It was new and sealed. You can see there's not a lot of information on it. And it was from Amazon. It had three different shows on it. Good Omens, King Lear, and The Widow. So I put this one up. I just did a buy it now for $32.99, and I sold it within the hour. I paid a dollar for that. So here's one that was part of that jewelry table that I bought out. This was a QVC item. The designer's name is Carolyn Pollock. What a beautiful, beautiful coil wrap bracelet this is. I think people also call those memory wire bracelets. Really super pretty stone, pink stones, right? Sold this one for $35. It was new in the box with its paperwork. I got a little Whiting and Davis box at an auction just a few months ago. I guess probably a couple of months ago now. So this is clearly marked Whiting and Davis. It's a black cameo ring. Such a beautiful item. It's like really in near mint condition. Nice and raised up. Don't you love that? Really a dramatic ring. And there is the signature Whiting and Davis mesh bags. So I think I paid $70 for the entire collection. So just with this one item, I got half my money back, sold it for 35. I bought this item over the summer. It was in a big box full of really cool patches like this. A lot of them were new and it also had a lot of baseball pins in the box too. So I already made my money many, many times over on that box. I think I paid 50 or 60 for the whole box. So I just had these hanging out. I forgot I even had them. I just stuck them up and they sold for 10. This is a beautiful gold necklace. It's 10 karat gold. It's solid 10 karat gold, 20 inches long. Nice thick rope chain here. Isn't that nice? Wow. So I got this in a bag of junk with my niece just maybe three or four weeks ago now. We paid $50 for the whole bag. I've already multiplied my money out several times. And I sold this one for $230 really great sale and I still haven't sold everything in that bag I have more costume pieces and I also have more gold in there too so trying to work my way through it okay ta-da I'm finally even on the table of jewelry that I bought at the estate sale so with this $50 necklace right here I'm going to start fresh now all of the J King and the other sterling silver I bought from that table will be in the money i'm in the profit finally wow i did a lot of work on this jewelry but i love it it's so beautiful i just love selling jewelry because i love touching it i love handling it i love everything about it so as you can see this was a very very beautiful thing sterling silver i don't know what kind of stone this is you see i just put pink stone <laughs> just sort of cheating there i don't know what that is 
didn't matter. I knew somebody was going to buy it. How pretty. I really love the way the beads on the side were like sort of triangular, if that makes sense. They were three-sided and it was reversible. Isn't that lovely? Love it. So that was yet another J. King item. New in the box. Sold it for 50 bucks. J. King is a personality on QVC uh, or HSN. I always get those two mixed up. But that's something great to look out for. There's a nice avid collector's market out there for J. King jewelry. Hey, look at that great photograph. I actually took that photograph with my iPhone. I use a website called clippingmagic.com. I think I pay six or seven dollars a month, but I'm able to remove backgrounds from things. And I think in certain instances, it's a good thing. I mean, I don't sometimes have the time to do it, but I think it makes the photographs look very professional. Isn't he cute? Look, <laughs> so I don't know who A. Wobler is, 1992. But you can see he's not like a friendly Santa. You know, modern day Santas are more friendly. This has more of a sort of German Victorian Santa Claus look to it. So that's why I put that in my description, Victorian Santa. It was actually in its box. Cute item, right? I'm pretty sure this item was also from the $50 bag of junk. So this is 10 karat gold. I probably should have asked a little bit more for this. It was a very specific thing. Ives is a door knocker company. I don't even know if those blue stones are sapphires or not. I mean, they're so tiny, I don't really think it matters. But it was solid 10 karat gold. There's the signature that I see a lot, E-M-B-C-T-O. It says that on a lot of employee service rewards stuff. So I put this one up for bid, and I figured, well, I'll just start it at 35. If it sells for 35, I can live with it. But maybe there'll be like a heated bidding war, you know, but there wasn't. So just got one bid. Completely fine. Certainly not complaining on that lot because that is the gift that keeps giving. I found this necklace recently at a community yard sale. And this was at one of the tables. I think this was the one. Yeah, I think I paid $300 or $350. I think that's what I paid, but I got a lot of really great stuff for that money. This might be the first item I sold from that. I'm not sure, but the designer here is called Anne Coplick. You can see how pretty it is. It sort of has that Victorian heart sensibility. It looks like this was possibly made from old, you know, molds, old jewelry molds. I thought that was a beautiful item. It was in great condition and I sold it for 40 bucks. I've been a record collector for many, many years. I know how to grade them. I know what to look for. This was kind of an oddball record. I actually love this group too. They're called the Merry-Go-Round. Now this record I bought in the 1980s in New York City on 4th Street in the West Village. It's a very, very famous record store there for many years. And I think they closed, sadly. I can't remember the name of them. But anyway, I bought that in there. I probably paid uh, $12 for this or something, or $15 for this in the 80s, but I didn't want it anymore. Anyway, sold it for $27. I love selling needlework kits and rug kits when I find them. I found this one in a little thrift store. I think it was $3. Uh, Might have been $4. So I'm always interested when I see Mary Maxim. That's one that seems to sell pretty well for me. I just love the theme of this. It's called Wild Horses. Now, it was started a little bit, so I did disclose that, and I think I took a picture of it, too. Yeah, there it is. See, on the bottom, it's hard to see, but somebody kind of just started the grass a little bit. They did it very neatly. You see on that picture right there, there is an afghan, and then there's a rug. So this one was the rug. I had to pull it out and try to figure out all of that. It included everything. So great item. Paid two or three, sold it for 50 and I think I just have one more thing left. I bought this item about five hours ago, <laughs> and I came home and I just put it right up. So this is something pretty cool. This is called Girly, and they are old wax figures. Look at how cute that is in the original box. Really sweet, little tiny nativity set. I think this was from 1950, according to the label on the box. Wow, that box is in gorgeous shape. That's very rare to see a box of this age to be that sort of sturdy and clean with those beautiful graphics. Isn't that cute? Now, there was one sort of issue here, and that is that in this box, instead of the candle, see on the picture, there's the setup with the candle. For some reason, they had an angel in theirs, so I did disclose that. 
And I don't know what I paid for it. I think I paid $1 for this. And I got a lot of other vintage Christmas candles, too, that I'm trying to sell right now for $80, which I think I'm going to get without a problem. So, sold these for $40. Thanks again so much for coming to my video today. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that it helps you make money. And I will catch you soon. All right? Cheers, everybody.